Today we are making butterbeer from Harry Potter. My favorite part about this recipe is that we are making a beverage mix, therefore you get to control how sweet your drink ends up. We are going to be making a couple of variations of the beverage. We have a more rustic version that is quicker, and then we have some fancier five versions using some fun little tricks I will teach you along the way. They use the same base to the beverage, the difference mostly being in the topping and presentation. Now let's get to it. Ooh, look at that. Fun little tricks. I guess I know how to edit. Not, not really. To start off, we are going to need a medium saucepan into which we place one bottle of cream soda. I like this 26 ounce Teddy's cream soda. I think it works really well in the dish. It has kind of an old timey flavor to it. Now being careful here not to lose too much of the carbonation from the soda. It will help in the frothing effect we get later on down the road. Then we add one stick of salted butter. Here we have some nice grass-fed organic being all fancy. And after that we are going to add our spices. Now we are going to use a quarter teaspoon each of ground nutmeg and ground ginger and a pinch of ground clove. Be careful here Clove can easily overpower the entire mix. After that, we are going to add our syrups. Six tablespoons of butterscotch and four tablespoons of butter rum. I know that sounds like a lot, but keep in mind this is just a mix for our beverage. Again, finally, a pinch of kosher salt. Sweet and salty go good together. And after that, we're going to throw it on the stove bringing the entire mixture to a simmer over medium-low heat and let it reduce by about one-third and no more than half, stirring occasionally. Once it is reduced, let it cool a bit, not too much so. And then we are going to store it in an airtight container. It needs to be airtight as this is a fattier mix and fats in the fridge absorb random flavors that are floating around in your fridge. Preferably let it sit in the fridge overnight or until any uninfused fats solidify at the top. Once it has thoroughly cooled we need to take this hockey puck of butter out. If you want to, you can save it and try it on some French toast in the morning. I didn't like it personally, but feel free to give it a try so I'm not going to keep the hockey puck of butter. And once you get that hockey puck out of there, we need to strain out any solids that are left over. So we're going to need a second container, and I'm going to use the sieve and some cheesecloth folded onto itself about four times. Yep, there's twice. Doubling twice. No, no, no. We... Oh, there we go. Good job. Good job, Briscoe. While this is straining, we can work on the froth we see on the drink. And to do this, we are going to be making a whipped cream to emulate the froth. So go ahead and grab your stand mixer. And you're going to want to have your whisk attachment on it. Of course, making sure your stand mixer is cleaned out of any debris. Continuing, of course, to strain your mixture during this process. There's that whisk attachment. We're going to use eight ounces of heavy cream and oops, I just made a mess everywhere. Good job, Briscoe. Time to clean that up. Cleanliness is key in the kitchen. So again, eight ounces of heavy whipping cream. I believe this is 40% heavy whipping cream that we're using in the recipe. And into that, we're going to add a tablespoon each of salted caramel syrup this time and our butterscotch.
putting everything into the bowl of our stand mixer, we're going to shoot for soft peaks on this first version. And later, we're going to go for stiff peaks. Now, because I'm doing a couple of different variations, I'm only using half the mixture. If you know which method you're going for, whether it be soft peaks or stiff peaks, go with the full eight ounces of the mixture at this point. I'm just trying not to be wasteful. Start on low speed, increasing to high speed, stopping occasionally to scrape down the side, and continuing to strain your mix. Nope, not yet. Still needs a little bit more. And before we get to plating, hope you can hear the air quotes in my voice, let's talk about glasses. Though the mug stein thing fits the universe of Harry Potter, that's a lot of sugar. And stainless is two 1950s. So I really prefer these cappuccino glasses. I think that's what they're called. They hold about eight ounces, which is perfect. And they're clear so it can show off the different levels of the mix and the different designs. Time to start assembly. We need cold drink mix. And this is where we get to control how sweet our beverage is. Some more cream soda of our choice. Again, how much mix you use versus how much cream soda controls it. And here are our soft peaks. They fall over. They don't stand up on their own. So now we are going to carefully spoon on top of our beverage our whipped topping. Trying to spread it out evenly, not make too much of a mess. Don't really have to get too precise here. This is our rustic version. And we have our first version of the butterbeer. Mmm, delicious. A nice thing about the Soft Peaks whipped cream is that it mixes well back into the drink when you're nearing the end of your beverage and you have this froth on the top. It was quite good. It almost tastes like Christmas, and in my opinion, Harry Potter is a Christmas movie. Fight me on that one. Again, it mixes back into itself quite well and you end up with this really rich and creamy it's almost like a semi-melted milkshake at this point it, it was quite good but now we are going to go on to the stiff peaks version it starts off the same as before but we're going to keep whipping the cream until stiff peaks occur stiff peaks like weebles wobble but they don't fall down kind of felt like the one guy wobble Anyway, stiff peaks. Also, we're going to need a plastic bag, and we're going to do some piping on this one. Using some scissors to cut. Um, pretending like we found the scissors, we are going to carefully snip the tip of the bag to provide an opening to which we are going to pipe the cream topping out of. We're actually going to do a perpendicular cut, too. It's going to add some cool designs to it. Again, I said care carefully, carefully. And either place the end of the snip bag into a cup or use your hand as if it were a cup. I don't know how else to explain it. Just look at what I'm doing and mimic those motions. Spoon the cream mixture using a spatula into the snipped corner of the bag. Now just... Fill up your mixture as you want with the ratio you prefer, with how sweet you want it to be. And carefully pipe the cream on top of your pre-made butterbeer. Get creative here, do some crazy styles, whatever you want. Have some fun with it. There's no right or wrong on this one. Finally, we're going to top with a little fresh grated nutmeg. Fancier, mild fancier butterbeer. By the way, nothing makes you feel more like a chef than using a microplane. And it was delicious. Don't forget, you can store this in an airtight container. You can store the whipped cream in an airtight container for as long as the cream's expiration date is good for. And finally, let's go on to the fanciest of all versions. We're going to use the same mix, but this time 
We're getting rid of the Teddies, and we're going to use a fancy drought-style cream soda. I think this is Henry Rhein's or Henry Reinhardt's or something of that nature. But it's a delicious cream soda. Oh, do you, do you like my bottle opener? It's available at PosidonMarine.com. Another change, we are going to line the inside of our glass with butterscotch syrup. Going all Starbucks on y'all on this one. Again, get creative, do some weird designs. Go all fancy on this. This is butterscotch syrup you get from the grocery store for like Sundays. We're going to add our mix into the glass and top it off with our fancy cream soda. And one other change is now we are going to use a whipped cream dispenser. Like my culinary hero, I hate unitaskers, but this can be used to make nitro cold brew coffee or even fancy steak sauce or just whipped cream for your hot cocoa. It does have multiple uses. So we're going to add our eight ounces of heavy cream with our two tablespoons of Flavored syrup, salted caramel, and butterscotch each. You're going to seal the lid on tightly, and we are going to insert our nitrous canister. As you tighten down this canister, you'll hear a very satisfying hiss. Wait for it. Oh yeah. Shake thoroughly each time before use. This will last in the fridge as long as the cream's expiration date was good for. And again, it's time to get creative. Go all out on this one. After your whipped topping, you can add more butterscotch syrup and again, fresh grated nutmeg. Serve and enjoy. This one was my favorite version, the fanciest version. It looked amazing. It tastes amazing. And now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go enjoy this while practicing my spells. Thank you for watching. Can't wait to see you in the next one.